Number 15. Write a balanced equation for each of the following nuclear reactions. And then we have the production of TH233. All right. And we're going to produce that from TH232. Okay. And this is going to be done by neutron bombardment. All right. So let's get it started. We're going to be dealing with a balanced nuclear reaction, which means that we have to write it in nucleide notation. We're only dealing with atoms here, not compounds. So these reactions are a little bit different from your classic, uh, you know, balanced equations that we know from the way, way beginning of this class. Now, nucleide notation has three parts. It usually is these three boxes right here, right? There's always going to be a bigger box, which means the atom. And then you have your top number and your bottom number. Now the top number always is coming from your atomic mass. And the bottom numbers are always the atomic numbers. But now let's see who is going to be on the reactant side and who's going to be on the product side. Now they did say that we are, you know, undergoing the production of TH233. And if you're producing, your production is TH233, that means that this has to be the product side, right? If you're producing something, that's always going to be a product. And if you're producing it from this, that means that this has to be the starting material. And in chemistry, the starting material means reactants. So we have a known reactant and we have a known product. Let's write these out before we even get into this neutron bombardment stuff. So let's do the reactant first, right? Now they did tell us that it was TH, which I believe is thorium. So we're going to say TH. The number on the top is the number that always has to be given because atomic masses can change. So they're saying that we're starting off with 232. But now they didn't give us an atomic number. But that's why we have to go on the periodic table to find out where thorium is to find out its atomic number. Remember that every individual element has its own unique atomic number, the whole number. So we just have to find where TH is. Now I only pulled up this little sliver of the periodic table. This is F, F block right all the way down at the bottom because here's thorium right here. Thorium is number 90. That is thorium's atomic number all the time. So I'm going to put a 90 down here. And now I know that I have that with my products. So let's do the other one. And it's the same element, TH. So we're going to put TH. It's now changing into 233. And we know that the number at the bottom, it's the same element, so it's got to be 90. Now, let's deal with this neutron bombardment. Now, for dealing with the bombardment, right, if you're being bombarded with information, too much stuff is coming in, right? And if, and if something is being bombarded, you're always going to be bombarding your reactants because that's where the reaction happens. So a bombardment always means that your particle whatever the particle they say it is, the particle is on the reactant side. What particle are we specifically talking about? It's a neutron. So let's have that notation ready to go. And it's going to be this thorium plus this new particle here. Maybe we'll, whoop, what happened there? Maybe we'll separate this out a little bit. Okay. And now let's see a neutron, right? Neutron, which maybe I'll put up top here. Here's a neutron. A neutron is labeled as lowercase n. No capital N because that's nitrogen. Now for a neutron, these two should be memorized, right? Now the atomic number for particles are generally what the charges are. Now if it was a proton, it would be a plus one or just a one. Electrons are negative one. But for a neutron, neutrons have neutral numbers, AKA no charge. So there's a zero here. 
And since the atomic mass is protons plus neutrons, and you're only dealing with one neutron, you only have one piece to the puzzle for your atomic mass. So the one is on the top. Now, when you are, maybe what I'll do is I'll bring this down here. Now, when you are balancing these, just make sure that the top guys on the left equal, use this as an equal sign, the top guys on the right. And make sure that the bottoms equal each other out as well, because if they don't, you might need to add a secret extra particle to balance it out. But in this case, 232 plus 1 is 233, so that checks out, and 90 plus 0 is 90. So we're good. This is the actual, um, the actual um, answer, right? That's the balance equation. And there you go. Let's just maybe make this, you know, nicer. Beautiful. Okay, that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to helping you in more questions. We got tons of stuff coming your way this semester, this new school year. We opened up memberships on the channel if you want to be a member to help the channel out a little bit more. Uh, thank you for considering. It's not obligated, not mandatory, but if you want to help us out a little bit more, you obviously can and you get tons of perks that go along with it. So you could check it out. Um, thank you so, so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Have a great day. Bye-bye.